Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. My name is Aisyah Ramadhani. I'm from Mandua, Samarinda. In this video, I would like to tell you a wonderful story that I have prepared for this competition. It is called Adam and the Lumberjacks. Please enjoy. Once upon a time, in a small village near the forest, lived a group of villagers who look after the forest. They really like living there because the air is still fresh, away from pollution. They also had a wise and reliable village chief named Adam. Everyone in the village knew that Adam really liked nature. But there was one thing that the villagers didn't know about him. That he had a miracle that allows him to heal plants. One morning, when the villagers were doing their activities, suddenly, there was a loud noise. So loud that all the villagers could hear the noise. It sounded like some machines pounding and buzzing. What sound is this? Why is it so loud? Asked the villager to her friend. I don't know what this sound is, but it's really loud, replied her friend. The whole village was confused. So was Adam. But he seemed to recognize what that sound is. This is the sound of a chainsaw. The sun must have came from the forest, said Adam. All villagers that heard Adam's words were shocked. They were the one who looked after that forest. They would be very angry if anyone dared to cut down trees in that forest. We have to go to the forest now. There are many trees in that forest that prohibit it from cutting. What if those people just cut any trees? Said the villager to Adam. Alright, now some people come with me to the forest. Adam ordered. Adam along with some villagers went to the forest to check what exactly was the source of the loud noise. When they arrived at the forest, they saw a group of lumberjacks cutting down trees using chainsaw. Stop! shouted Adam. The lumberjacks turned their head towards the villagers. Who are you? This is none of your business, so please get out of here, said one of the lumberjacks. We are villagers who look after this forest. Don't you know that many trees in this forest are prohibited from cutting? You shouldn't cut any trees like this, said Adam, holding back his anger. The lumberjacks ignored Adam's words. The villager looked at each other, not knowing what to do. How about asking them to show their license? I'm sure they don't have it said a villager who was approved by the other. 
Mike went to one of the lumberjacks who was resting. Excuse me, can you at least show your license? I just want to make sure that you didn't do illegal walking. Said Adam politely. The lumberjack showed the license they had. How surprised Adam was when he saw the license. Because the license is fake. Adam had seen the license that government showed him. And it was different from what this lumberjack showed. <gasps> this is fake! Said Adam. What do you mean? There's no way this license is fake! Said the lumberjack. Saying the protected trees in that forest had been cut down by these illegal loggers. Adam could not longer hold back. He came to one of the trees that had been cut. He held the tree and closed his eyes. After that, magically, the tree returned to how it was before being cut down. Everyone who was there saw it. The lumberjacks could not believe what they had just seen. So was the villagers. They were amazed at the miracle done by their village here. But the lumberjacks did not remain silent. Catch them all! shouted one of them. Without realizing it, the villagers were surrounded by several lumberjacks. They couldn't go anywhere. Knowing that the lumberjack wanted to catch him, Adam ran to another tree to do the same as he had done with the previous tree. The lumberjacks continued to chase him. But Adam kept running and met the trees that had been cut back as before. Until finally, a lumberjack catch him. The lumberjack want to tie Adam. But Adam continued to rebel as hard as he could. The other lumberjack approached them, intending to have tie Adam. But even more surprising thing happened. The roots of the trees around them came out of the land and moved closer to the lumberjacks. Everyone was completely shocked. They didn't understand what had happened. Next, the roots tied and hold all the lumberjacks' feet. Tied it up for the lumberjacks to be rooted to where they stood. You see, nature is angry. Do you realize that your actions are disruptive? Look at your city which is full of tall buildings. If there's no trees in the forest, what will that city be? Flooded, full of pollution, and maybe short of oxygen. Saint Adam to the lumberjack. Adam's words opened the hearts of the lumberjacks. They apologized and promised to always carry a legal logging in the future. Nature also gave them a second chance. The end. The lesson that we can take from the story is we must take a good care of our environment. Don't destroy our environment by littering, cutting trees illegally, and so on. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye!